Hi, what is up people and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'll be showing you how you can back up your Mac OS device to a Windows shared folder. Now there's a couple of steps you'll have to do, but these are not that hard and I will try to explain them as well as possible. So this is my Mojave installation of uh, or my Mac OS device that I want to back up. It is a 120 gigabyte SSD um, that is in there. So it's not a huge file that we'll have to back up. Uh, but that will just make it easier for testing purposes. And what you can see here is my little Windows server. Um, I have a one terabyte hard drive in there, which we'll be using to uh, at least uh, make our backups onto. Uh, so it's actually just running Windows um, uh, 10 Pro. Um, so that's, uh, that's it. It's a very simple system, uh, low spec, but it doesn't really matter. It's the hard drives that count. Alright, so the first little step that I am going to take is I am going to format my Windows drives that I am going to use for um, cloud storage, or at least storage, local area storage. This is not a requirement, but I like to do it just um, for testing sake and for the video. So let's, let me just do that first. Alright, so let's get started by formatting our drives on our little server. This I will go to the disk management. I will select my drive and format the ones I want to use. So I'm now formatting both drives, the 750 gigabytes and the um, the one terabyte hard drive. I actually already formatted the one terabyte drive. So now you see that I am formatting the 750 gigabytes drive. So when that is done, we should have two clean hard drives that are perfectly working and perfectly empty. Now this is not something you have to do but I just like to do it um, because there was no data on it and I just wanted to have clean drives. Alright so now let me just go and share the actual drives. So in order to share your drives you want to right click on the drive itself and then go to advanced sharing options and turn on sharing and then just press permissions delete uh, or remove the everyone and then add a separate account. So I will just be press advanced and then find na a new and then I will go to the Microsoft account. So this is actually a quite a, an easy step to do or at least this will make it easier and more secure. So for this you will use your Microsoft account and that will just keep um, give you an easy login that you probably know hopefully. So apply, okay close and there you can see the first file has been shared now let's do the share. same with the other one advanced sharing share this folder permissions add or at least remove the everyone permission and add a separate permission advanced find now and then go to the um, the special Microsoft account permission so this will be your Gmail and this will help you out so okay close and there we go so both files are now shared now we can go and check our uh, whether they actually shared over local network so what you can see now is another desktop so it's another computer but it's also connected to the local the same local network so what i'm now going to do is we are going to need the name of the computer or the name of our server at least in order to check whether your network drives actually work you want to go to the um, right click the network tab and press map network drive now in order to connect to the server you have to type the name of the server device in my case this is uh, winvolt um, and then you will have to type the um, the name of the hard drive or at least the, uh, the letter of the hard drive um, now we're connecting the A drive so I just press the, the letter of the drive and that connects to the drive itself and now I'm just quickly adding the secondary hard drive so I'm also mapping that drive now there we go alright so now that we know for certain that the network drives are actually shared over our local area network and that we can actually open them on another Windows 10 PC we are now, go now going to check whether the Mac OS device also can reach these drives so now let's get started with the Mac operating software so you want to press go and then connect to server 
Now, what you want to type in now is um, obviously dependent on your own settings, but you want to type something like me. You want to type SMB double point slash slash, and then the name of your computer. And this you can find just um, over here. So let's jump to the Windows computer and I'll show you where you can find the name of your computer if you don't know it already. So let's go and jump to the File Explorer, this PC, uh, press right, but, uh, right, right mouse button, it's Properties, and then the, the name of your PC will be shown. You can obviously change it if it's something random. I usually just change it to something uh, easy to type. So my name is uh, WinVault. So let's just put that in into our Mac. Obviously, it's already in, but whatever. So WinVault, and then um, we're gonna want to select what is our. Um, we want to go and select our path to our WinVault. So obviously, let's jump back to the Windows PC and let's check what the path is. So let's say I want my backup to go into the WinVault one terabyte, so the A drive, okay, and then MacVault, and then MacBook. And I want it to go in here. So let's go and do that right now. We're gonna do SMB winvolt slash A slash macvolt slash smacbook. All right, so that's done. Then let's press connect. And now we just wait a couple of seconds. And there we go. So we are now connected to this drive. Um, so, well, it's connected, but now we still have to do a couple of steps, obviously. So we can now open the file and uh, I can make a new file into it and it should work just fine. Let's try that. And there we go. So I just made the file on the MacBook and it just perfectly worked there. So let's continue. Uh, let's delete that file. Mm -hmm. And it's gone there, all right. And let's continue with the next step. So what you want to do next is you want to create a spares folder or a spares image of your system. Um, this you can do in Disk Utility. So open Disk Utility. Disk Utility is long, uh, located in Launchpad, and then Others, and then Disk Utility. Um, and here you want to go to File, New Image, Blank Image. Just wait a second. And then um, next to Save As, we're going to type Time Machine. And then we want to select the path to the um, or the location where we want this, uh, this spares image. Obviously, we want this in our Win Vault, then in the A drive, then the Mac Vault, and then this MacBook. There we go. And now let's uh, give it a name. We're gonna call it Spares. There we go. We're gonna give it a size. Obviously, we want to know what size we want to have. Well, so this will be the maximum size of the backup file. Um, so for that, if you don't know what exactly you should take, just go to the Apple icon, click about this Mac, and then about this Mac, and then go to storage. So as you guys can see, my storage device is 120 gigabytes, so I'll be making my file 200 gigabytes, for example. Something bigger, so I won't have any issues with storage. All right, 200 gigabytes. Then you wanna, for format, you wanna click Mac OS Extended, Encryption None, Partition, Single Partition, GUID Partition Map, and the Image Format, oh, God damn it. Okay, the Image Format, you wanna change to Sparse Bundle Disk Image. Now that will reset the size of your um, Sparse Image, so we'll have to change that again, but no worries. And then you wanna change the, this and do it again to Mac OS, Extended journal. So let's check those settings because they do dare to reset sometimes, but that does seem pretty good. Okay, and now let's press save, and now it's gonna make an image. Now that image won't be 200 gig, uh, gigabytes from the start, so don't worry, because we will be able to see the uh, what is happening exactly. So now I'm looking into Task Manager again on the server. That. And as you guys should see, so the process of making this spares image took a little bit longer than expected. Um, I mean, like the the startup just took a while until the disk noticed that there was something writing to it. So I just speed things up here. Um, 
just to make it more interesting. So as you guys can see, the files are just writing. Uh, there's actually quite small files. It's not like he's making a backup right now. He's just preparing the image um, on the desk, uh, on the drive. All right. So when that is done, you will be greeted by something that looks a little bit like this. Um, so to the top right, you could see that the spares image was added, like it's a virtual drive, and it just said it was created. Now normally you should be seeing the the image um, in the disk manager, but I couldn't see it, so I just restarted it, um, and then it worked. So um, as you guys can see, I can actually see it on my desktop, but after restarting the uh, this manager I can actually see it now so maybe this was a visual bu bug I don't really know but as you guys can see it opened and it's uh, 200 gigabytes so I think the spares image was created successfully slash spares um, so that seems to be perfect and the drive size is about 200 gigabytes um, so also perfect um, now what you can do is you can make this drive here. make an aliases normally it should also make a uh, little icon on your desktop but you can make an alias and that is sort of a, a button to connect to the drive if it, if it isn't connected automatically so this um, little shortcut will stay on your desktop and when the drive isn't connected just press this and it um, let's just do it for a for example purposes. So I disconnected the drive now. And now when I press space alias, it will try to reconnect. So obviously I have to be on the same network again. So we wait. It's gonna be probably, okay. So space can't be open because the original item can't be found. Okay, weird. But it does open though. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm getting a little bit issues here, but let's just continue with the, with the tutorial. So obviously, as you guys can see, the space bundle has been recreated just by pressing that alias. Um, so the next step, what you want to do is you want to um, type a little command into your um, terminal. So uh, that little uh, command will be in the description of this video, but just for the video's sake, I have it here in my notepad. So let's command C this and let's go to terminal. Obviously it's here, but just go to launchpad, oh, launchpad and type terminal. There we go. So what we are going to do is we are going to type in this command sudo, which means you will execute it as an administrator, then T, uh, TM, the time machine utility tool, and then set destination and then volume slash spare. Now, what this little command will do is it will make um, Time Machine recognize this drive because when you would go to, like, we aren't finished yet, so when you would go to System Preferences and go to the, um, the Time Machine settings, which you have probably tried before, um, you will see that the, come on, open it, you will see that the disk is not yet there, although it is kind of connected, right? So, yeah, for that, to make that work, we have to type in this little command. So the this little final thing will be different for you guys if you have changed the name, which you probably will have done. Um, but it is simply just the info. Um, it is simply just this. Next, should be this. Um, no, this, it's not actually that. It is actually this. Let's go. This manager, and then here, right here. Um, there we go. Volume space. So if you guys go and check this out, it will be there for you. So that is just the command you will have to type in. Let's press enter, and it will ask for my password. Obviously, this is just your um, Apple password. Uh, you'll type it in. It will not show up, but that doesn't matter. Just type it and press enter, and then. If it worked, it will just reply with nothing. Um, so if you get any error, like an error 60 or anything else, that means the drive was not created successfully and um, you'll have to troubleshoot it more. Um, I had an issue where I was creating a um, 
just out with the disk utility tool I was creating a wrong sort of file and it gave me the error um, but when I do this it just works so let's now when this is done we can just go again to the um, time machine settings again and as you guys will see uh, wait so oh and it already selected it that's beautiful but obviously you'll have to select it and then um, select it obviously but it automatically selected it now so this is beautiful so let's just um, back up automatically and next backup will be in one in about an hour so I think it should be fixed guys I hope you learned something and I hope it works for you if not please let me know in the comments and I'll uh, try and help you out um, good luck thank you for watching